Right, hello YouTubers. All right, today, so I'm gonna do a quick video on uh, the axes that I've recently kind of put together. I uh, watched Wrangler Stars video series on axes, and that's kind of where I where all this stemmed from. I went into uh, Home Depot and Lowe's and that type of big box store, and everything I saw just looked like absolute garbage to me. Um, there are some more logging type supply places in my area, Le Bonville, some stuff like that. I went in and those were okay, uh, but I still didn't, I, I'm pretty sure the steel, the heads weren't made in the U.S. And, and I don't think they were very good steel. I did find one place that had steel brand axes that, that seemed very cool and, and were a whole different thing, but they're like $60, $70 and I, and I don't think I'm quite ready for that, nor do I think I, it's necessary for me to have that. So what I ended up doing is I started watching eBay and Craigslist and that type of thing. I tried going around to the local like uh, garage sales and that kind of stuff. I just couldn't find what I was looking for. So I eventually bought some off eBay and I probably made maybe paid a little bit more than I should have. I don't know. I ended up I bought five heads for uh, a little around forty dollars with shipping and everything. I knew two of them were good. This is a Union Steel out of Charleston, and uh, this is a Zenith uh, Marshall Wells, which uh, came from a store that was kind of similar to Sears back in the day. Um, and I'm and I'm confident these two have good old school U.S. steel. Um, I'm positive, or not positive, pretty sure this one's from around the mid 1900s, and this is uh, possibly in that era, maybe late 1900s. So I got the heads and I was fine with them. Um, I don't have a bastard file here, but I did start out with that. I, I sharpened this guy up really good with the bastard file and then came in with the puck afterwards and I got a really good edge on it. When this came in, it was in a little bit rougher shape. And I did use a wheel and then I used a, um, uh, it's, I don't know how to explain it, but actually uh, Wrangler Star uses it to do the handles in his where it's a wheel and I use that to shape it. And then I came back with the bastard file and the puck, and, and they both have a really good edge. This one in particular has a phenomenal, almost hair shaving. You can just about do paper cuts with it. And this one is, it's good. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't want to get crazy. I don't know well enough yet to not make it too thin. But I've been splitting wood with this all day today, and it's, it's done a really good job. So that's kind of, and these supplies, if you watch Wrangler Star's video series on it, which I'll try and make some annotation for, is how I did this and I went out and I had a very hard time in fact I could not find handles that did not have a lacquer on them so I looked online and I, I, I just I couldn't find anything so I finally went to we've got kind of a mom-and-pop um, kind of now nah, I would know it's got some farming supplies and stuff like that um, anyway so I found these Tennessee hickory handles in there um, compared to maybe the ones at Home Depot, they're just, they were a much nicer looking handle. The color was nice and white. Um, these have both been treated one initial time with the linseed oil, and that's it. Um, and then I've been using them for the past weekend. So, but I, I'm pretty happy for them. I, with them, I, they're very inexpensive. Um, I don't know what it is, but the place I bought it from, this handle is around $16, and this one was $6. On the website for the Tennessee Hickory, this is around 20 something and this is around 16 so I don't know if they've just been there for a long time and they mark them down or what but for what I paid for it I'm more than happy for what it is um, and we'll see as time goes on but they were they seem to be right and for the money it's fine so so far I'm happy with these um, I did have trouble with both the heads neither of them really fit just perfect um, this head's got a little bit right here where it didn't fit perfect but it, it came in fine this one, on the other hand, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it, probably, there is a pretty pretty substantial gap here in the front. Um, and then there, I've kind of got this little bit of wood jammed in there. I've got steel wedges coming. I kind of prematurely did this, but I, I had access to the shop during the early part of the weekend and went ahead and did them. Um, I have gotten a minor amount of wobble in this, trying to cut some pretty stiff, quasi wet wood that I actually pulled out of the pond but irrelevant um we'll see if the steel wedges fix it worst case scenario I have to buy another handle and do it over again um and I'll cross that bridge when I get to it but if anybody has any recommendations on a better way to do this once I get the steel wedges I'm going to pound this down 
wedge another piece in here and glue it. Yeah, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. But anyways, so but I'm extremely happy with the process. I, I, I truly believe these will last many generations and already have. And the handles, they'll come and get, they'll go. Um, these are nice and smooth. They're a joy to, to handle and use. Um, so that's that. You know, this is just kind of reference to what I took from Wrangler Star, what I could get from my area, and where I'm at with it. And uh, and so and I'm extremely happy. I I I I've probably got a uh, around sixty dollars. Like I say, I don't have the bastard file, but I did get the good nickels bastard file. It's, it's in my truck. Um, and I got the 12 inch and that cost whatever it did, but I didn't get the handled version. I just think there was a set and I didn't get it. Anyways, so, but for around $60 that I've got invested in this with the puck and the steel or the bastard file and all this, I, I'm very happy. I mean, I, as, depending on this handle, assuming these handles last for a few years and I paid $60 all for this and these last me for the rest of my lifetime, I'm happy. I, I have no problem with that. So that's that. Um, and then the only thing I have to offer, really, that I haven't seen is when I got the puck, it's, it isn't a very abrasive thing, and I wanted some way to carry it in a backpack or in the pouches on the four-wheeler, and I thought about wrapping it in something, but that just seemed kind of whatever. So as I was sitting there thinking about it, I realized that the clamshell package of this seems, you know, it's been in that. It's a life. I don't know if it'll last forever, but I just cut the clamshell around it, and uh, yeah, just take a little rubber band or something, and there you go. I mean, I think, a, ask me in a month how this is held up, but for just sitting around in the backpack or, or whatever, as it spends most of his life just sitting on the counter, I think it'll be fine. But. So there we go. So that's just kind of my experience with the axe heads and what I've done with it and just kind of where I'm at with the... Uh, wood processing end of things and I'm very happy with it. it it is you know these are truly a pleasure to have in your hands um so yeah so there we go um yeah if anybody's got any questions about it or whatever i probably ask for English star but maybe maybe you know maybe I can help you anyways thanks a lot you guys have a good day